you know, me and Philoptochos society, we have something very uh, in, much in common. We have difficult names, Philoptochos <laughs> and Elpidophoros. But I'm less fortunate because everybody knows Philoptochos, and no one pronounces this word in a wrong way. But, uh, Unlike me, I, you still get to get used to the Elpidophoros. Uh, thank you for your patience with that. <laughs> your Eminence, Metropolitan Nathanael of Chicago, Your Grace, Bishop Apostolos of Media, Reverend Clergy, Ms. Maria Logus, National President of the Greek Orthodox Ladies Philoptochos Society, Ms. Pamela Argiris, Chairperson and President of the Metropolis of Chicago Philoptochos, beloved members of the Sisterhood of Philoptochos, esteemed representatives of our recipient organizations, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. These are words of Helen Keller. They express the spirit of the Philoptochos Society and the spirit of the Children's Medical Fund Luncheon. Perhaps you have heard of the butterfly effect. Scientists use this term for the idea that many small actions can add up to a giant outcome. A butterfly in Africa flapping its wings at just the right moment can help make a hurricane in Florida, for example. Today, we witness a related phenomenon to the butterfly phenomenon. Perhaps we should call this phenomenon the Kuluraki effect. <laughs> <laughs> this Kuluraki effect occurs when a member of the Philoptochos makes kuluraki, a cookie, for a bake sale. It can be in Portland, Maine, or Troy, Michigan, or Bakersfield, California. One plate of kuluraki by itself does not amount to much, but each small plate, together with all the others, add up to a great banquet of love like tonight. This is the kuluraki effect. <laughs> when a small cookie makes such a big difference in a child receiving treatment, in a family keeping their home, in research that saves young lives as we already saw a few minutes ago. My beloved ladies of Philoptoho Society, nothing you do is small or insignificant. Each fashion show, each festival of tables, each coffee hour that you host has great value. Each member of Philoptochos has great value. This is because you work together in every parish, in every metropolis and across our archdiocese. You are an army of agape, an army that conquers pain and anguish through generosity and kindness. You are a model, a model of cooperation and collaboration for our church. You prove that alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. It makes me proud as your Archbishop to see the record of the gifts from the Children's Medical Fund over the last 30 years. This year alone, the list of programs runs to several pages, all truly worthy to support. Children in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri, Wisconsin, will benefit from the love and the labors of Our Ladies from all across the nation. We are grateful also for representatives of the grant recipients at our luncheon today. 
we appreciate the wonderful work that your medical teams accomplish for children. A sick child often feels small and alone. Your care gives comfort, gives courage and strength. Our Lord said, as you do unto the least of these, my brethren, you do unto me. Our Lord takes this personally to him. May God bless you for the mercy and the miracles, one of which we just saw, for the miracles that you work day after day for the little ones of our land. As we began with the words of Helen Keller, so we conclude, because she also said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Today, we feel those precious things. We feel joy and mercy. We feel respect and unity. We have some words in Greek, philotimia and philanthropia, personal dignity and love for humanity. With these feelings, our hearts are full today as we give thanks to God for the beauty of this hour. I heard, Ms. Logus, that there was a desire expressed yesterday at your meetings and the idea was to dedicate a Sunday of the year for the support of the National Philosophical Society. Today, it is my pleasure and honor to announce that I decided to dedicate the Sunday of the Good Samaritan each year for this purpose. <clears throat> May the Lord bless and keep you all. He grant you many more years of life and service together, all in peace and in love. Thank you.